Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB. Today we're going to be solving a problem from the IB Physics HL May 2024 examination. This is a paper 2 problem. Let's get started. A fixed quantity of 4.5 into 10 to the power of negative 3 moles of air is compressed at a constant temperature. The graph shows the variation of pressure P with the volume V of the air. So that's the graph that represents this scenario. Suggest whether the air behaves as an ideal gas during the change. Okay, so what do you know about an ideal gas? We know that already temperature is constant, so we know that PV must be equal to a constant. And I'm pretty sure in your data booklet you know that PV by T is a constant, and we know T is already a constant, so in this case we only care about PV. So that's in your data booklet and so we can say that PV by T is a constant so we just need to figure out if PV at different stages on the graph are equal or not. If they are equal that means that this is an ideal gas, if not equal that means this is not an ideal gas. We can ignore this T because it will end up cancelling but just for the sake I'll keep it here for now. Let's take for instance this point because it's clear and this final point also because it's clear. So, pressure is f 4, right, 4 times, and this is the volume right there. So the pressure we can say is 4 times 10 to the power of 5. And the next thing is the volume, and the volume at this point is 3 into 10 to the power of negative 5. Okay. That's at point one. We can call this P1. That's P2. So what's at point two? Let's fin figure it out. So the pressure is one and the volume is that. Okay, so the pressure at the second point is one into 10 to the power of five times by the volume is 12 into 10 to the power of negative 5. Okay, so we just need to see if these both are equal. Now you can put this on your calculator, but you don't need to, and I'll show you why. 10 to the power of 5 and 10 to the power of negative 5 just end up cancelling because it's a uh, same exponent, or same but opposite exponents, So because it'll become basically like this. So that's just 10 to the power of 0, and that's just equal to 1, okay? So basically, you just have 4 times 3 on this side. And on the other side, you have 1 times 12. And we know that 12 is equal to 12, okay? So this is an ideal gas, okay? Next question. Calculate the temperature of the air. Now, how do we do this? We know the formula PV is equal to NRT. This is given in your formula booklet, right? Okay. So, how can I use this to calculate the temperature of the air? Well, I know PV because PV is just the what we figured out in the previous question is just 12, no matter which point you take, it's 12. So, 12. And are the, all the units fine? Yeah, all the units are fine. 12 is equal to nRT. Now, we need to know, solve for T. So, we do 12 divided by the number of moles, which is given here to be 4.5 into 10 to the power of negative 3. Okay. And this times by the gas constant R, which is given in data booklet to be 8.31. Now, you put this on your calculator, what do you get? Let's see. 12, 4.5, times by 8.31. You get 320.89 Kelvin. Okay. Yeah, 89 Kelvin. 899 Kelvin actually and so we can actually just convert this and say it's 321 Kelvin for rounding purposes 
And always remember your temperatures will be in Kelvin for anything in this topic B and usually never degrees unless they tell you. Okay, part C. Outline how the kinetic theory of gases relates the observable properties of a gas to the motions of molecules. Now, I'm not going to go over the kinetic theory of gases, but the essential idea is that in this particular question, the absolute temperature of these of the gas of the gas is directly proportional to the kinetic energy of the gas molecules okay and now what does this mean exactly well as the i supply heat to the gas it becomes hotter the motion of these gas molecules becomes increasingly random. It collides with each other and with the container more frequently. So that uh, leads to our second point. This leads to greater pressure as the molecules collide with each other. other and the container more frequently see and now i link two concepts together the kinetic the temperature raising the kinetic energy of the molecules and now the kinetic energy of the molecules colliding with each other in the f container more frequently and when they do this you're raising the pressure inside of the container and so that's the answer that's part it's a two marker so we've given one two two points one point for every mark in the question okay thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you have any questions leave it down below and i'll answer it as soon as possible thank you for watching